Cougar <laughs> Nation. It's Luis Ruiz. Hey, Guys and gals, the uh, legendary Luis Ruiz. We have a new study. First screening on this new study. It's always extra challenging. I think it's double the actual work that it will take normally because everyone's figuring out. It always happens on a new study. And then it's going to get easier. Yeah, it always comes easier. I mean, the first, I can say like, at least three patients for the new study can be like the ones that we are actually testing. Yeah. And I think it's important to bring people for those visits that are, you know, in this case we didn't, but that know us already, you know, yeah. that are like friendliest, that are the most patient and tolerable. Yeah, That's that what I used to do when I was coordinating, but now you guys are doing it. And yeah, but actually. You found a good one. Yeah, we found a good patient. Uh, He's being patient and he has a lot of patience and he's been complying with us. Right now, uh, we didn't have problems with it and he's very, very respectful too. Okay. But yeah, I get your point that it's better to have previous patients, the ones yeah. that already completed a previous study. The ones that know us already. Mm -hmm. Because if you bring in a patient that's not very tolerant, yeah. They won't put up with it. They can start first training <laughs> and we can get like uh, bad feedback from them. Yeah. Yeah. And so. they just might leave, you know. And, then and they first, just might leave, yeah. I mean, your first visit will be like a failed screening and they're going to question, well, what kind of patient did you bring in? So, always important the first new studies to bring in people that already know the site well or you have a very good idea that they are a tolerant person. That they're, uh -huh. And in this case, that's what you guys, you guys did the latter. So what was his experience today so far? Like what was he, uh, how was his mood? He was, he's excited. I mean, when we were first launching the ICF, he was like, uh, and we gave it to him. Uh, he was excited and he was like, oh my God, I'm excited. I want to read it and I want to be part of the- Was he of a part song. of, uh, came from Patient Ace? Uh, yeah, uh, he's okay. from Patient Ace. Shout out yeah. to Patient Ace, yeah. guys. Nice. <laughs> Hit me up if you want to be a beta site, if it's still time. By the time you're watching, maybe there's no more beta sites, but uh, <laughs> it's working well now. They changed. It is. And we had a full-time admin that's last week is next week. And we're not going to hire another admin for another month at least. So it's back to the coordinator. The OG team. It. Yeah. <laughs> Lana's going to do it. But what do you think about this study compared to other studies so um, far? So far, this study is not that complicated. This study will be, uh, once we know it, better the auto launch every procedure will be easier I mean and it's not a long study so it can be it's a good study to have more people uh, involved and once they can finish we can offer the other study that we already have ah, okay. so you think so this one is the easier than the other study we have actually or? no it's a little bit just a little bit more complicated that, that's all that's all okay for the court for I mean yeah for the court years yeah but for the patient it's probably easier Oh yeah, it's easier. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to do your review. We're going to Texas Roadhouse. So now you're how many months now with us, Courtney? Almost eight. Almost eight? Wow. Eight months, yeah. What do you think so far? Like, what were your thoughts about research before versus now? Oh my God. It's been, has been changed by man a lot. I mean, it's opened my... It changed your life? <laughs> I mean, in a good way, yeah. Really? Because okay. uh, right now, I, I'm more interested in the studies, and I wanna. I like that you are applying for more studies, like um, some related topics. I don't know, car cardiologist. Yeah, and, we're getting more for Fresenia. Yeah. Uh, right today, right now, I was texting um, from a sponsor, a medical science liaison, mm -hmm. asking us about another cardiovascular disease, and then uh, through Creo, I getting a, a atrial fibrillation for the. Cardiology. Yeah, those are the studies that I'm more excited to, to be enrolling patients in. Um, so you like psych or cardio or derm? We're going to start derm soon. Mm -hmm. Or uh, respiratory? Respiratory, yeah. Respiratory has devices and stuff. You should like that. Yeah, I, I would like to do the respiratory too. Um, I, it has been on my mind to do some with the oncology. Man, we need to find this oncology group right here. Southwest Oncology. They're the only ones in town that are not uh, hospital based. Oh, okay. And I'm trying, but the owner lives in Phoenix, in Scottsdale. Oh, okay. Are you trying to reach him? In I've been trying. Me and Jaime have been trying for like a year. Okay. But I, I stopped recently, so maybe we'll start again. 
yeah, that, that would be a good study. Um, I'm willing to do all the visits for the oncology one. The oncology is <laughs> like always going to gonna be busy, and those patients are very motivated. And, you know, sometimes it's sad, too. I mean, you see patients that don't make it, but then yeah. you, see, you do see patients that are extend their, their life, you know, quality of life. Yes. Uh, you see it both sides. I monitored oncology. I never did oncology as a site, but I monitored oncology a few different studies. Yeah, I can assume that it's tough. It's tough even as a monitor. As a monitor, yeah. You don't know the patient as a monitor. You just read the notes every time, and then they come one visit, and you see the note that the patient died. Yeah. And you're like monitoring this patient for a year. So I can't imagine, you know, if you're as a coordinator when you get to know the patient. To get to know, yeah. It's it can be tough, but I'm I'm willing to do that with this thing. Yeah, it's something I'm that's much to me it's it's the field of research that's always busy, unfortunately. But maybe fortunately too, because we're looking for better treatments and things like that. But uh, eight months in, not bad, you got a bunch of therapeutic area expertise. Yeah. <laughs> And about the research too, it's just, it's how exciting how it is because of my relatives that they asked me, because they live in Mexico, right? And they are like, well, but there's nothing about the research here. Because the knowledge that I have in research was just like working in the laboratory and doing yeah. research and just like a, in a specific topic. But here in the United States, it's just like, it's amazing how you can do research with everything about it. <laughs> everything. Everything. <laughs> The limit is me, basically. Your imagination. Because <laughs> I'm the one doing biz dev now. But, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Lana's been helping, Gress has been helping. I'll probably get you involved to help. Yeah, I would like on, to, um, to look for studies. I was going to talk to you about that today when we oh. meet. Have you looked for the studies that you want to do? And um, we just, if we have the doctor for it, we can do it. If not, we got to find the doctor. Yeah, we need to find the doctor first. Yeah. But, all right, man. Well. Where do they follow you? Instagram? Uh, yeah. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. Okay. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Go follow Luis on Instagram right now. His link's underneath. Bye-bye.